Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell G7 15 model 7588 and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and uh, how you can upgrade or add extra storage in your laptop. Depending on where you purchase it and what kind of configuration you purchase, you might have a 256 gig SSD and a one terabyte storage, mechanical drive, so you can remove those. Just remember by removing the main storage where you have the windows, you have to reinstall the windows again. I made a short video how to create your Windows 11 USB boot drive, even for the laptop that they don't support Windows 11. Check that links in the video description. Also, I made a video how to install properly Windows 11 without getting any, any of those bloatware installed. It takes literally up to five to 10 minutes and a few windows update, you're ready to go. You so pretty much back up your files to an external storage or to a cloud if you want to replace the main storage. But if you want to just add an additional storage, then you don't have to do anything for your Windows. All right, so I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. We're going to power off the laptop first. This is a demonstration. I'm going to show you how to get to them, how to remove, how to add them. All right, first, flip it upside down, grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set. On this tool set, we use a Phillips number one. Down here, there's only one screw that holds the service cover in place. That's the one at the back. This screw has a little something called a C-lock. The C-lock prevents the screw from coming out entirely, but it does have a second uh, purpose. The purpose for the C-lock is as soon as I start rotating, it will push the cover away from the palm rest. So you can actually put your finger or open it to and pull them out. So keep rotating until you feel flex and that's it. Next, what you want to do, put your finger in the middle, pull it out from the middle so you get this kind of curvature and it will snap the clips on the side. And these are the tiny clips, you're not breaking anything. All right, so down here we can uh, see that there's right away, there's one NVMe storage right in here and one mechanical drive in here. This one is upgraded to one terabyte. You can upgrade it up to two terabyte. Four terabyte, you can put it, but you will need a beefy heat sink, which are, there's no space for it. So. You can go up to two terabyte with no heat sink. One terabyte is good. And there's a mechanical drive right in here too. Now, to let's go ahead one by one. You don't need to remove the battery to the, or disconnect the battery if you want to do a uh, storage upgrade. Absolutely not necessary. But for those people that are really paranoid, I'm going to show you guys how to. You want to remove one screw on this side of the battery right here. And one screw right in here right over here and one right at the bottom left so there should be three screws once you remove these three screws you want to grab the battery and pull it out so you can slide this box in here out and bring it in this position and then you want to put your fingers on the side of this jack and then pull it back straight don't pull it sideways and the battery will come disconnected right there but again you don't need to if you want to do a ram storage upgrade so let's put this one in it's straight in I've seen so many people that remove this jack and then put it back in sideways and create a an spark and kill the motherboard. So that's why I always say don't touch it. So we're going to put that, those screws back on. All right, so let's go ahead and first with the NVMe drive storage. There's only one screw at the back. We're going to remove one screw at the back of the NVMe, the tiny screw, and the NVMe will come out in 45 degree angle. And then what you want to do in here, you want to grab it in the same 45 degree angle and pull it out in a 45 degree angle. The NVMe's have one notch on them and one notch right under them, right there. So let's say you got the new NVMe. I would recommend you guys to grab the 980 Pro 2 terabyte if you want. This is a one terabyte, two terabyte 980 Pro. These are really suitable for these cases. Do not go anything over two terabyte because you will need a heat sink. So all the NVMe's will have one notch on them. Doesn't matter how many uh, chips they have on top. And this is just another NVMe. Just goes in the same way, goes down and they screw it down. They're all the same. So you want to grab your NVMe that you want to upgrade and put it down in 45 degree inside the connector. Once you bring it down, this screw hole has to perfectly match right in here. It shouldn't be covered. Once you have the screw hole matching straight in there, aligned, put the tiny screw right over and tighten it up. That's how you remove the NVMe or add the storage for your NVMe. For the mechanical drive in here, you can have a mechanical drive. 
or you can upgrade this one to a solid state drive. You can put any solid state drive 2.5 inch up to 4 terabyte with no problem, or mechanical drive up to 2 terabyte. Because after 2 terabyte mechanical drive, they become really thick and they will not fit. But solid state drives up to 4 terabyte, they are still a slim profile. To remove it, you want to remove four screws that hold the caddy. The caddy is the bracket that holds the hard drive in place. So there are four screws that hold it. Remove these four screws. And then what you want to do, you want to grab it from here and bring it up gently. Don't yank on this cable. Be careful. You want to bring it like that. And then you want to unhook this uh, adapter. This is a Seagate one terabyte. And let's say you got the new SSD. If you want to install all the SSDs, they are the same shape. It's a Samsung one right in here. I'm not up again, it's just a demonstration. They all have the same connector. It's right in here. They have to align in the same orientation. What you want to do, you want to remove one, two, one is two screws on this side, two screws on this side, remove the metal bracket and put it on the SSD on the same orientation, put the screws and you pretty much will have the same thing in here with the bracket right over. Okay, so you can put up to four terabyte SSD, which will be a super fast transfer speed between the drives. Right, so let's put this connector back in. The connector only goes in one way in, the small connector with the SATA and the power adapter. So you want to bring it down and connect it right in there, slide it in there, and then flip it over, put it there, and then tighten up the screws for the carry right on the board. And this is how you can remove or upgrade your storage for your Dell G715 laptop, the model 7580A. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or request, you can always leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And to finish it off is to put the bottom cover on the front end first, and then push the side to go toward the back and tighten up the middle screw at the end. And this should power up today's video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.